Welcome to jobskillshare.org course help desk ticketing systems. Today we are going to be adding another section to this course which is I support ticketing system training. Now you must be thinking why do we need training on this ticketing system specifically? And the reason is this that a lot of people are using this and we are just going to jump in and see if we can find some job right there and I already highlighted it right here so if you go to indeed.com and just type I support and why I think it's important for us to do training on this is this is a reason because a lot of these jobs right now they're putting that in their description so um, if you have right now you see right there troubleshoot and resolve user issues using I support software so imagine if you're going to apply for this job there's a person who is who had the same uh, you know uh, a resume like you experience or training like you and that person when the question is basically asked let's say do you know anything about software I support ticketing system the, the person might give a good answer like okay I don't know about the I support ticketing system but it's a ticketing system and I have used something similar so that's kinda like a plus point for that person but imagine if you can answer that also but at the same time you can show something on your resume that I have done actually a training on a ticketing systems and I support is one of them so imagine that will give you some good points or even first if a person don't know anything about ticketing system they should definitely know but even if they know you still have a plus point right here when you say even in this uh, job right now that's 30 days ago they put it for system engineer one I support help this ticket system is a plus and I if a person is saying if a people or HR people are putting that as a plus so imagine that is the reason we are doing the training on this ticketing system so let's go ahead and how you're going to start this training first you need to go to isupport.com and you'll see try it now uh, tab right here let me warn you if you're watching this video after three years from today this might not be there things might not be the same so at least you will have the training video and we'll try to keep it up to date so this is the demo link you're gonna get after registration you're just get this instantly you can just click on this link and then you will get to this link welcome to I support and then you can start your training now this might be a little different because this might be a, a very like you know brand new um, a software that I support is putting on their demo but if you're working for a company they might be using something a little older so they might look like this you see this is a whole ticketing system going on right now just imagine if you have this training you have done this training today and you go to the company and you just open their ticketing system I support and you see the same thing how easy would, would it be and your confident level in the beginning will be kinda like high because now you know this stuff so let's go ahead go back to the welcome page right here we're gonna go ahead click on get started and let's just wait what happens next so there you go you know it, it gives you some more options right here simple pick a simple from some pre-designed dashboard and I would definitely pick simple if you're just learning so let's go ahead and click on simple so here you can pick your design what type and this is something that your uh, system administrators or application analyst or anyone who is in charge of uh, basically installing this application in the beginning it would have been done for you but this is how they pick this so you as a help desk or anyone who get hired or maybe you are doing this stuff so you should know this um, because when you get hired you might see exactly like this I mean it's been done so I'm just showing you what what's been done before getting to this point so we're just gonna pick the incident starter the first one and we're just gonna click on finish and there you go you basically get this uh, dashboard and there you go you get like incident on the right side basically incident number customers are 22 companies 11 um, and it tells you like you know some little um, training like you can just do click next and it shows you what to do here click next with what is dashboard just learn about that rename you can rename this dashboard you can add some things to your dashboard like for example here we have open calls we have network dashboard you can see like you know what if you click on the network you will see like all other technicians and their calls and um, things in a different way this is a big big uh, overview for uh, tickets if they come in you will see open on the top so anyone uh, who's working in a support area they will pick that call and try to resolve it and you will see another one someone else will pick another one they will try to resolve that issue so let's go back to the demo and we're gonna click next and you see right here things are getting um, so we're gonna close this for now and just see right here that we have um, 
th this is basically like kind of like over you like you know our service desk we had uh, a front page where you can see things so if you click on this right here how many tickets you'll see this is a ticket from 520 and uh, the folders are by date you can see so tomorrow let's say 521 and if there's a call you might see that in that one it's a pretty good way because if if let's say for example uh, you want to go back to some s a specific date that how many calls were done in on this specific day you can just you know go down and okay 511 you click on it and you can see all these calls were done and then when you want to open it you can just click on it and it will open the full ticket and there you go the close is like kind of like a reddish kind of look pinkish you see right here on the top it's basically showing that you cannot change anything unless you reopen it so if you were to open this call again you can actually click on reopen this incident and then you can basically uh, change things in there see right here you can change the resolution or maybe you need to add more uh, something to the history you can click on history you can add it right here and you see you can you can add stuff see right here even it, it will capture the history of you opening the incident so uh, it's important because then if somebody wants to find out why this call was open and who opened it so you you will see it right here automatically log that right there um, assets if this incident included any you know assets um, in this um, ticket like a computer or some type of printer you could have added that over here but it's totally up to the companies what type of uh, systems they're using they might be using i support for asset scanning and things like that but some people might be using spiceworks and things like that so it's kind of like mixed environment for some companies um incident attachment um so this is where basically you can come and attach uh, a file you can click on attach right here you can click on add and you can just attach something to it now you can also come back to the, his the detail right here when you click on it I'm not sure maybe they changed that but usually um, sometimes you can add attachment to the detail section too now in this new version I don't see that unless they change it or it's basically not um, available in this demo but uh, let's go ahead and save and close this we're gonna create a brand new ticket basically to submit a new ticket usually if your users have a link you you will, you will have one link for um, your support section which is rep representative right here demo I support dot com slash rep um, but for user you might have something set up like users and you will see like that will they will not see the admin side they can only see what important headlines over there there's something went down so your administrators can put a uh, notice so they will see it right here a knowledge base will be something documentation for example if somebody wants to uh, download a VPN and uh, basically uh, follow the instructions you could put put in a knowledge base uh, self-help guides right here you can put that in there so if you click on it you'll see right here you can add um, you know things in there this is not completed but definitely you'll you'll do your uh, designing it depends on your company uh, they can submit uh, incident discussion form is a nice one I, I I didn't see that in the older one so I'm not sure if we didn't add it but y they can discuss like people can can discuss some issues or uh, resolutions to I mean just talk to each other it's kind of a nice way to communicate and make people involved in this process when they click on submit um, they'll just log in basically uh, with their username and password and here uh, is the same way of any ticketing system you select categories so let's say for example it's a technology issue it's application uh, request and they want to like you know um, install update Adobe let's say uh, this is a normal calls for IT guys and you know update my Adobe update my Adobe reader and then you they can select uh, if there's an update message they can send you a screenshot to that um, but usually that's that's the kind of calls you'll get and then they will submit the ticket and we'll say click on save and the incident has been submitted and this is the ID number and that's how every single ticketing system work uh, they will get some type of number um, so let's go back this is the rep section so if somebody submitted that ticket they should be uh, seeing that ticket once you have it on on the system you will get it um, right here customer Donnie Khan submitted this ticket I will open it and here you can see update my Adobe reader
So that's how exactly it works in, in iSupport. You will come down here, this ticket is open. So what you will do as a technician, you can assign this call to someone else, like for example right here. I already assigned it through the, the customer, but let's say for example, this was a group, they didn't know who to assign it to. You could just come here and this might be your call, uh, one of your main job to assign it to the right person. So you can come to the assignee and then you can just either search it by click on that little tab, you can go by group or you can go by name and you can just say Darren is the person who needs to do this or Eric you just click on that and now it's assigned to Eric and you can put something in there in a history if anything else you want to add you can add it to the history um, but not a lot of things you won't be touching too much on these sites usually people don't use that a lot they're just getting the call assigning it to the right department and if they want you to put it in the category is another important one because managers usually like to run reports uh, on each category and then what you need to do is to save and close so um, the, st the ticket is open, you can put a work history in there and just click OK and now this is being saved. Now Eric will go back because Eric will get an email from this system. Eric will go back to his um, t uh, you know, side of ticketing system and then basically what Eric will do, he'll say uh, you know, updated and Eric will go down and just close this ticket. That's how easy it is to uh, learn about iSupport. There's really not much to it. Of course you can do more things to it, you can change some uh, views and everything, but uh, in terms of training, you know, most of the people will just want you to know how to open a ticket, how to know which ticket is new and how to close it um, and how to assign it to the right department is kind of like the most important thing in any ticketing system and the same way, go same way goes for the iSupport. Now you could be involved in designing the 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 you know like the front page of like this for example so that will require you a little bit you know or you're on a management side okay how do you how do you want our pages to look do you want this on the right side do you want this on the left side and that is just you know it depends on the management itself like this is not something a rocket science you just you basically work with them this is not something you need to really spend too much time on it you just have to work with the teams to kind of find the right um, you know uh, look layout for the company so so one last thing uh, not always people will go to the the page here and uh, and submit a ticket and that's kind of easy way because now people have already picked the options and it's kind of nice when people do that but and not always they will have the ability to go to these things maybe they're having some type of different issue maybe they call you on the phone maybe they send you an email for example here's a good example of email direct email an email I wanted to get in touch and something about laptop licenses but it's not done through this so you as a technician need to come down and copy this make sure you copy this and the headline of the email once you copy it you'll go back and do the same process all over again you'll just create the new incident you click on top new incident right there you click OK and basically you need to just go and you can say customer detail uh, all that stuff you can just go in there and now I can create an incident about this customer so I can add the customer name so see in the last one when they did it from the site the name was already there but here it's a little bit more work you will just go here description add it and then start the process all over again and assign it to the right person it is daily uh, job for you guys I mean this is something you will be doing and this is kind of one of your uh, you know when you start working in as a help desk or any IT positions this is kind of one of the things that it's a job requirement kind of thing you know you get like a you know, whatever uh, they do like in a in jobs like 20 percent of your job uh, you know daily job or something like that they will put this as a job requirement so you need to know about ticketing systems and this is why this is why when you go to these um, jobs right now you search for it and look at it I mean you just look at this titles they're all good titles but they also requires these type of things you should know and pe people are even putting like you know this is a plus if you know about this so that's why we we did I support ticketing system today and in reality it looks like this every day you will see this is 520 from yesterday and you see the tickets are coming in flowing in and you'll see 19 and it will just never stop and that's what you will be doing in this type of work every day every day every day thank you and i'll see you guys in a different video